How's it going everyone? Welcome to Spurverts. It's me, Craig Mitz, joined by Reese James and Emma Story. And on this week's show, we're going to be talking about Kevin Vimmer ready to step up after Jan Vertonghen's injury. Uh, the boys are back in pre-season. Eric Dyer at Wimbledon. Harry Kane, new contract. Victor Janssen's deal's looking imminent. And Ben Davis and Hugo Lloris in the semis. But we're going to kick it off with Kevin Vimmer. I mean, Jan Vertonghen's injury, yeah. oh, not good. Not, not good. good but could have been worse. Mm. You know, there were some massive initial fears when uh, when he went out of training that it was going to be a four-month layoff, which obviously would have been a bit of a disaster. I would have cried. I know you would have. It's okay, Craig. It's okay. Super, yeah. It's okay, Craig. He's not so super. It's okay. It's okay. We've got big Kev. It's okay, okay. because it's, big only, it's only six weeks. Okay. It's only six right, weeks. Cool. So That's we've got right. big Kev. Got big, big Kev. Kev. It does mean we're missing a couple of Belgians. Yeah. With Dembele. Yeah. But... Be fine, big Kev. He showed Big us. Kev. He showed us last Big season Kev that he can do it. Oh, he can. he can do it on the main stage when he needs to. Completely, he was brilliant. He he's just got his eighteen minutes of Euros team. experience <laughs> under his belt, See, and he's going to be fresh and ready. You know, he will been be chilling for the summer, he, probably training. Well, he well actually no, he went to I think it was uh, Vegas. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so he's been okay. on the bender. <laughs> Bang up for it then. <laughs> Pretty much after Australia went straight out of the uh, out of the Euro. So. Okay. But that was a while back now because they went out in the group stage. So obviously now he should be back. And refreshed, ready and to go. Ready to yeah, go. Yeah, I trust him. I, tr I totally trust him. I'd like to get. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to get another centre back though for when him or Toby get injured. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing, isn't it? It's, it does leave us a little bit thin at the back because you do just worry, you know, one injury away. Mm. And if you think Dyer can't really go back and deputise because we're missing Dembele for the first few games. Yeah. And, ugh, As yeah. Barnaby keeps telling us, we've got Cameron Carter Vickers. Yes. And that's the future, apparently. He could Cameron be Carter new, Vickers. He could, Who knows? He could be the new Ludley King. Could be. Could be. Could be. All right, so speaking of uh, players going back into preseason, our boys are back. The pictures are out. We've seen yeah. a couple of videos. It's all going along on social media. Do you think they're going to have a really good preseason? I mean, obviously the Euros has happened, so a lot of players are going to be maybe tired. They've just gone on some of their breaks, Dubai, the usual places. Yeah, it's pretty quiet, isn't it, at the uh, moment? It is. Yeah. There's only a few players at back at preseason so far because the guys who've all been involved in the Euros, which was a lot of our boys, yeah. um, are either still at the Euros, uh, hello Ben Davis, hello Hugo, or um, are on their kind of three-week break now, the likes of our England boys, etc. Um, so... It's, it's always going to be a little bit fractured for that reason. But having said that, like we haven't got any meaningful pre-season fixtures until the end of this month. Yeah. So I think they've got enough time to kind of acclimatise and settle in. The guys who are back in pre-season look like pretty fun. Victor Wanyama. Doing a lot of press-ups. Yeah. Ericsson's, Ericsson's on his there. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Ericsson's <laughs> there. Clinton and G's there. Forgot about him. Well, hey, Hung I was going to say, within G, do you remember how when we had all those pre-season pictures of Lamella looking fit and strong and raring to go and everyone's like, oh, is this going to be the season that Lamella kicks on? Yeah. And then he did. Maybe the same will happen with Clinton this season. Have you noticed that he looks fit and healthy in these it, pictures? It, Have you noticed he looks does he look like he's bulked up a bit? I think so. We'll see. So I'm not sure. I mean, how do you, how do you think these tournaments affect the preseason? So obviously, like we said, they're coming in late. Does it have an effect on the preseason going forward? Or I mean, I think more probably the thing you have to worry about the most. We've been very fortunate, touch wood, in that most of our players have escaped injury three, injury injury three, injury free from the Euros. Yeah. So in terms of fitness, I don't think that's actually going to be an overall issue. I think obviously tiredness will be an issue for some mm, of them. Fatigue. But more importantly, I actually think it's a mental thing. If you yeah, look at the way, time. obviously, our England boys and our Belgian boys went out the tournament, both of them to lesser opposition that they were expected to beat. Yeah. Um, mentally, it's a big shock for them and it's a bad way for them to go out. And I don't think they're going to come back They've got a lot to put behind him, and I think Potch is going to have some serious work to do to kind of get their, their mm. mindset right for the start Especially of the Especially England, because obviously that was an embarrassing uh, tournament again. Yeah. Belgium, not as much, but the fact that they were listed as second best in Europe or whatever. Second best, in, second the best in the world. Yeah. Second best in the world. So much, there was so much pressure on the Belgian team. Completely. That, I don't know, maybe that it's going to be as much, as bad. Yeah. Harry Kane's going to come know, back. But he had that, at the start of last season, he had the exact same thing, so maybe... Dembele, yeah, exactly. Dembele and Vertonghen wasn't even playing in that match. Yeah, Dembele's, it was only really oh. out of her. Old. Dembele's got a real axe to grind with it. Yeah, Dembele completely. can go, yeah, well, obviously you went out, mate. You weren't playing yeah. Look, we had this conversation nothing. on Spurbets a few weeks ago when yeah. Belgium lost in their group game. It's like, no Dembele, no win. And Mark Wilmot's didn't we listen to us. We know it, Spurs fans. Didn't listen to us. And now look where you are, Belgium, you see? Exactly. All right, well, we'll That's see what happens with the preseason. We're banking on you, Hugo. We need Hugo and Ben oh, Davies to Hugo get to the final. Ben. Really, we kind of need... 
I want Wales to win, but we really we need Hugo to, to win as he's our captain. We're going to get to that. Yeah. All right, so speaking of players coming back from the Euros, Eric Dyer's back, and instead of going on a holiday and sunning it up, he's gone Wimbledon. He's a tennis fan, apparently. He is. Well, his dad was a professional tennis player back in the day. Oh, Did you know that? Yeah, know that. there you go. Okay. Eric Dyer, trivia for you. Fun facts here. <laughs> no one right. knows more about Eric Dyer than Emma. Okay, but let's leave that one there, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just the fact that he went to Wimbledon. No. He actually snuck something into the Royal Box. He did sneak <laughs> something into the Royal Box. What did he sneak into the Royal Box? <laughs> Haribo. Tangfastic. Is it Tangfastic? Tang okay, Tangfastic. Sorry, I'm not yes. a sweet connoisseur. Haribos. All about the Haribos, which I'm pretty sure they don't sell in the Royal Box. I think he must have had to bring them what in a himself. a child. What a legend. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I, I'd expect that from Deli Alley, mate. Not you, Eric Dyer. You're going to be an elder statesman of the duo. <laughs> of anything you're going to bring in there, why Harry was like, what? Well, you know, tennis matches can go on for a long time. I expect that a bit from like Deli Alley. He's a bit of a sugar energy. rush. I don't know. Eric Dyer's a hard man. I'd expect yeah, him to bring something yeah. a bit more hard in there. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like what? Like, what? <laughs> like nuts. This is Wimbledon. <laughs> like salted nuts or something. Something Just some pub grubs. Just you know meat. what I mean? Just yeah. raw meat. <laughs> That's what I, I expect him to have with I, him. But sweet! I, I don't punching know raw meat. Oh, no, do you know what? Even flipping, what's his face? Harry Winks. He seems like someone that I'd bring in Harry Bow. Do you know? Just bring a bit of Harry Bow in there. <laughs> yeah, Tom Carroll. But the yeah, thing is, definitely. Tank Fastics are like the sour ones, though, aren't they? Still got a bit of a kick. Oh, now nah, I expect him anyway, to Anyway, I don't know where we're going with this. Biting chilies. That's what I expect him to do. The important thing is, Eric Dyer was there. He yes. likes to rub shoulders with the higher class. You know, this guy's a very cultured individual, likes a bit of tennis. He's just, yeah. Eric Dyer, I like you. I like you. All right, we'll move on. <laughs> Harry Kane, new contract potentially. They're yes. talking 96 grand a week. Possibly the highest paid player at Spurs at the moment, and it'll be a five-year deal. Yep. What's your thoughts on that, Reece? Good to reward a good international campaign, isn't it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> when you've been so good on the, on the European Ouch. stage. Let's reward him with a new contract. No, of course he deserves it. I want him to stay at Spurs for as long as possible, <laughs> as long as he never takes a corner for us. Yeah. Well, in fairness, let's face it, he never took a corner for no, us. No, exactly. He ne yeah, almost yeah, never was... took any free kicks yeah. either, so mm. it's not his fault. Pochettino, Pochettino knows how to manage him. Yeah, no. Well, I, and Hodgson doesn't, so. He, you know, it was really interesting when you saw Al. <laughs> when, boxing here. Yeah, that's just fine. Uh, when you saw the uh, kind of rages of the starting 11 for England and you kind of saw like Harry was sort of way down the list yeah. compared to some of yeah. the others, it's about time that he got kind of brought up to parity. I know we obviously have a wage structure. We don't pay the kind of crazy wages that the likes of Man United do, but he deserves to have. I mean, he won the Golden Boot. Like, yep. absolutely 25 goals. sensational. 22 campaign. years of age. I know. Deserves to be rewarded. Who cares about that. our Euros? Who cares? Yeah, as yeah, long yeah. as you score for us, Harry, that's all I care about. <laughs> It really was weird seeing that list of England players' wages. All the Spurs players were so much lower than oh, God, so everyone much else, lower. but also lower than I expected them to be. Yeah, they're so the ones that have been there for years. Yeah. It was way lower than everyone else. Yeah, no, it's really interesting. And Kyle Walker was one of our best players of the tournament, which he, isn't saying he, that much. But. No, it's not saying that much, really. But um, I, I think it is really interesting. It is one of the things with Spurs that I actually quite like. And I like the fact that the players do appear to buy into this kind of, you know, if you play well, you'll be rewarded. Like, it's all kind of incremental. Yeah. It's not just a case of, like, you come in, oh, you come in, we're going to have to pay 100 grand a week. I mean, that was one of the things with Adebayor that became a real issue was obviously mm. he was on 110,000 a week, which was the highest pay payer at the club for doing absolutely bugger all. So, how do you feel like the senior players in the team will feel about this though? Like the likes of Lloris, the players that are a bit older, have been around for a lot longer. Still, do, we, do we have any idea? What, what Lloris I know he got? was one of the highest paid players. Yeah, and I'm sure he still will be. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the start of another set of new contracts, mm. to be rebuff honest. Rebuff the offers. Um, completely yeah. rebuff the offers, make the players feel secure, like incentivize them. Obviously, we've got the Champions League football this year, we've yep. got the television money, mm. so that there, the money is there to kind of hike these wages a bit. Um, We're going to get I, the Ryan Mason cash pretty soon. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's all gone very quiet, actually. That'd nah, be fine. Yeah. Um, now, nah, Bill. But <laughs> I know. you don't know. This is true. You don't know. But I think um, I think it is a good thing, and I actually think the senior players will recognise the contribution that Harry's made to the team, and the fact that even yeah. though in age he might not be senior, in kind of experience and presence and motivation level, he is one of the senior players yeah, at Spurs. Yeah. So I I can't see anyone having. I mean, issue and like we said as well. Obviously, I don't know if they take this into account, but when we did lose to Newcastle 5-1. He was one of the only players that kind of stepped yeah. out, spoke. He's showing that yeah. maturity. Yeah, well, we yeah. talked that about that of, a lot yeah. of the time, that he was one of the ones who was... Harry, I'm happy for you, mate. I'm happy for you. He All right. captain material oh, as yeah. well. Oh, yeah. If not Eric Dyer. Victor Janssen. Yeah. So, there's been a lot of talk around this guy. Yeah. You know, Dutch player, scoring goals. I believe he scored 27 goals over there. 
And uh, it looks like we're going to get him. The deal's looking imminent. 16.1 million or 20 million euros, as they put it. For now. For now. For now, <laughs> if the economy says like this. Yeah. <laughs> this For is now, on Tuesday, so we don't know what's going to happen on Wednesday. It could change at any time. You know, it's politics. Uh, Victor Janssen, what's your thoughts on him? I'm, I'll be honest. I haven't seen a lot of him. No, I saw him at Wembley against England. I was yep. there at the match. He scored a, a decent goal. But, I mean, are you don't happy know, with it? Don't know much about him. Desperately want a striker, so I'm happy with it. I trust. Yeah. I trust... Yeah. I trust the, the team. I mean, the thing is, I don't think you can argue with someone who's the top scorer in the Eredivisie. Like, regardless of what you think of that league, anyone who finishes with more goals yeah. than anybody else in whatever league they're playing mm. is clearly a bit of a player. And um, I've seen bits of him. Um, he looks quick. He looks strong. I think he'll fit quite well into Poch's system in terms of the pressing game and, yeah. like, hard working. Um, and obviously he's young and he's hungry and he's made it very, very clear to everybody that he wants to come to Tottenham. Like, he's gone on record. Mm complaining that Alkmaar, that's yeah. the club he's at now, yeah. have been holding up the deal Locking because it, they yeah. were holding out for the money. It's a potch buy, that's what I want to yeah. know. Is it a potch buy or is it someone else saying, you know, look, our scouts over here. I mean, I don't know. I think it's 100% a potch buy. He okay. seems like a potch player to me. Or if not a potch buy, then a Paul Mitchell buy. And, you know, See, that's what I'm I swaying more towards. I'm Mitchell. swaying more and towards a Paul Mitchell trust, rather than a Poch. We trust Paul Mitchell. But Poch, is, Poch delegates. This is the thing. You know, it's it's like yeah. Poch and Paul Mitchell, it's like the dream team. Okay. Yeah. So, All right. Victor Janssen. Yeah. Backup striker, hopefully he does well. Absolutely. Hopefully it goes oh, through. We need a striker, put it that way. We, we need, need a striker. striker. I'm and sick of Chadley up top <laughs> or Chung Lin Son. No, no offence, guys, but you know, your, your wide hey, players. I don't so want to see him up front. Sonny scored some good goals for us. And G season. as well. And, and G's apparently bogged up and he's going to be amazing this season as well. Yeah, so, so I've just told you. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. I think Janssen, in all seriousness, like, I know everyone's a bit disappointed about Batshuayi. I'm a bit disappointed. I wanted him. He yeah. wanted to come to us. We didn't want to pay the money that Marseille wanted. So now he's buggered off to some other team down the road that we don't want to talk ah! about. Um, but having said that, you've got to be realistic. Yeah. Whoever we're bringing in is a backup striker. They are not going to be the first name on the team sheet up front. And you can't justify yeah. paying £31 million for someone that you're not going to start every game. Plus, he seems keen. Like He was so gutted that they were blocking his transfer. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like he's going to be like a Kevin Vimmer. He's going to be changing his Twitter banner yeah. to some sweet flaming Ooh. text saying, welcome to Spurs. Thanks for having me. Oh, come, on, oh, come on, Victor. All right, so the final topic of Spurverts. Ben Davis and Hugo Lloris are in the semis. The only two Spurs players left. <laughs> I mean, who are we rooting for out of the two? Wales. You go for Wales. Oh. Wales all the way. And Ben, yeah. Come on, Wales. Because you are Welsh. I am a hundred percent Welsh. Yeah. Listen to my Is he accent. Welsh? This Somewhere down I the line. Am, I'm half have you got, Welsh. He's half Welsh. Welsh. He's, he's grabbing onto it because of his name. I am it's half Welsh. Welsh. My name's Reese. Don't, okay. don't need vowels. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Emma, who well, you back in? Well, it doesn't sound like you're back in Wales. Like I'm getting a feeling. Here's the thing, right? I was backing Wales. I was like, yeah, Wales, you know. Team <laughs> no, like, yeah, Wales. Ben Davis, yay. Obviously, still got quite a lot of love for Gareth from back in the day. Yeah. However, last week, I'm sure lots of people have seen this, when uh, England went out of the Euros um, and that match that we don't really want to talk about, the Wales players were captured on video, cheering about it, going mental. I was literally like, right, there goes me wanting you guys to do well. Love boiling. Sod she you. hates it when they do that. I do, mm. I do. Other teams. So, sod it. I am going... Hugo, France. I'm also, going. I'm going Hugo as well. Yeah, to I be fair, our captain. I hated when Aaron Ramsey said it feels good to finish above Spurs again. It and really... that stupid blonde hair of his. Is that what he is said? That? He said that. Did he about, actually say that? Or was that Bantz? Group. He said that about the group. Yeah. Seriously, was yeah, that Bantz yeah, who said that? No, he, he said was, it. He, he it was, when I see you, Aaron, it was Bantz when I see from you, him. Yeah. Cool. I'll see you again. Don't yeah. worry. When I see you. <laughs> so yeah, France all the way. Come I don't know. It'd be interesting. LA, you want the underdog, basically. I, I, I get oh, this well, underdog I, I, story. I, I am Welsh. I want Wales to win. But, <laughs> but you trying it, to sit it, on that fence. It there? would be better for Spurs if our captain won. But that's what this is all about. This isn't the Reese show. You <laughs> this know, is this isn't Reese on. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we want Hugo to win. He wants you know Wales to win. Cool. We'll see what happens. But we're just happy that both of them are it's there. Good, that both of them good are there. experience. And it is sad for Ben to be missing the semi-final. Like that whole yellow card system at the Euros is absolutely Ridiculous. rubbish. Like why on earth they don't wipe him after the last sixteen? I don't know. Because they don't want anarchy to, to just spread and think. Oh, I can go in and just two, completely take someone out two, every given chance. Two Chelsea. yellow cards in five matches. That's ridiculous. It is a bit mad. To me <laughs> yeah. sure. it is a bit it's mad. mad. Anyway. And in, without Ben Davies and without Aaron Ramsey, Wales might struggle a bit, but... I don't know, Portugal have been pretty terrible. Portugal have been poor. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, this has been Spurverts. Let us know what you think of the topics we've discussed in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop it a like and keep it casual.
Antonio Sanabria. Yeah. All right. So, 16.3 million. I don't know a lot about this guy. I know he's moved. He's moved around clubs a lot in terms of being yeah. put out on loan. 